guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for pumpkin cake this is another holiday recipe and to get started here i have some all-purpose flour brown and white sugar i'll be using melted butter and oil mix i have eggs pumpkin puree i'll be using some baking powder and baking soda buttermilk and for the spices i have all spice ginger nutmeg and cinnamon so to get started, we'll go ahead and combine all of our dry ingredients, starting with our spices, baking powder, and baking soda. We'll mix the combine and we'll set it aside. Next, we'll combine all the wet ingredients, starting with our eggs. And I did forgot to mention I was going to use a bit of almond extract here. You can use vanilla extract if you prefer. We'll whisk the combine, then we'll add our oil and melted butter. We will also add our buttermilk, then we'll add our sugar. We'll mix them really well until the sugar is almost dissolved. Then we'll add our pumpkin puree. Once everything is well combined, we will go ahead and add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And that's it. This is super simple and easy to make. You don't even need a hand mixer or a stand mixer to do this. You can do it by hand. So once your batter is all set, we will be transferring this to our baking pan. I will be using a six inch bonded pan and I did grease it really well before adding the batter. Now I will leave the ingredients for a full cake down in my description box as well because this is only like a half cake. So I will leave the measurements for a full one and we will place this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes while the cake is in the oven we'll go ahead and make a glaze for the cake using cream cheese pumpkin puree milk and powdered sugar we will just combine everything and mix really well and that's the glaze super simple and easy After 45 minutes, this is how our cake is looking. We will let it cool down for about 10 minutes, then we'll remove it from the pan. Now remember, your baking time will vary depending on the size of your cake or your oven. So what you'll do is just place a toothpick or a skewer in the middle, and if it comes out clean, that's how you know your cake is done. We will let this cool off thoroughly before we glaze the cake. Next, we'll go ahead and just drizzle our glaze right over top of the cake. That's all you have to do. I like making these kinds of cakes because it's so easy to, you know, put everything together. It's no hard work or no, you don't have to be a professional or anything. You just, it's just simple, quick and easy. And once we're done here, we'll go ahead and let it rest for a few minutes and then i will show you guys what the cake looks like on the inside so look how gorgeous the cake looks guys and it didn't take any time or effort it was so simple and easy now let's cut it and see what it looks like on the inside and i must be completely honest with you guys this is the softest cake i have ever made like the texture of it it was so unreal like it was unlike every, any other cake I have ever tried. Like the texture of it was, I can't even explain it. You have to try it to understand what I mean. And it is so moist. Look at that. When I cut it, it's just pulling apart. It is so amazing. And I do hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy this video, 
please give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me i will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good day and enjoy